the iconic jazz musician has been celebrated for giving life to his distinct compositions, some of which were also used in the liberation struggle against apartheid. What is more profound, me being a student in the 80s, uh, being part of UWC, I grew up with Mannenberg in my ears. And to date, I'm experiencing the once again transition from Dollar Brand, an iconic figure. What a legend for our Cape Flats young people, jazz musicians, to say that you can make it against all odds and this is what tonight is about. I'm extremely emotional because it's 30 years of democracy and this is what this iconic figure means to us as a country, as a continent and also our most highest export of music, musicianship, composer to the world. Government emphasized the importance of celebrating the work of Abdullah Ibrahim and so many others. The idea is to give them flowers whilst they can smell them, so that we don't celebrate them posthumously. And I think when we do so, we're inspiring the younger generation. I mean, you remember where he comes from, born in the Western Cape, from Kensington. He's like a rose that grew from the concrete, in spite of the difficulties. But he used music, he used piano. Today we're celebrating Ama Piano which is a transition from where he started. To celebrate people like him who are inspiring the younger generation, that regardless of your condition, material conditions, you can be a global icon. Government highlights Ibrahim's nearly seven-decade career, praising his continuous contribution to South African music and jazz through his blend of classic jazz and distinctive local elements. Kevin Brandt, Cape Town.